Akubi. I am a half Norwegian, half Ghanaian, neo soul, Afrobeat, reggae artist. Um, grew up in Oslo, Norway, but um, have parents. One is Norwegian and the other one is Ghanaian, so that's my background, yeah. I grew up in a household with, with a bunch of musicians. I mean, my dad um, was quite a big artist in Ghana in the 90s. My sister is also blowing up back home in Oslo. Um, mom sings in a choir, so my whole family is involved in music, so that's, I guess, how it started. But. Um, I only got involved seriously, I would say, in about 2016, 2017. Um, so I've been in the game for a couple of years, but that's how long it took for me to craft my sound and find my voice, other than always having, you know, been singing in church and being involved with the Kumoji sisters at some point, my sister and I doing things together. Um, but me as a solo artist, um, got involved here in Cape Town a few years ago, yeah. So what's important for me when I make music is that I'm staying true to myself and that I am making art that might be painful or not necessarily painful but um, might you know be uncomfortable truths that people might feel that they resonate with, but that they won't necessarily speak up about openly. Um, so it's a lot about being honest and open, and through that, blessing someone or, or having someone feel that they're not alone. Um, and I guess, yeah, then voicing things that people maybe shy away from in your everyday life. of artists in society. So music is something that everyone listens to, you know, whether you're driving, whether you're celebrating something, whether you're doing your laundry, whether you're singing yourself, it's, it's something that's a part of everyone's life. Um, and I think that as artists, our responsibility, I guess, is to essentially add some color to the gray, you know, um, make people remember that they're humans, we're not robots, you know. Um, touch parts of people that um, maybe they're running away from in some way. Um, it could also be something like a good feeling, happiness. Um, so artists are essentially responsible of bringing that vibe that you're trying to get when you're like put on music, whether it is to enhance a good vibe or to have someone actually like dig deep into something uncomfortable, um, but be real. I've had many, many great moments. Um, obviously, um, being on stage in general is something that just feels like home and feels so amazing. But um, I think those intimate concerts that I've been a part of is what has brought me most fulfillment. For some reason, that's what I've always wanted to do. So. This was, it? yeah, last year, October 2018, I had a concert at my house, and that's something I had planned for two years, and it might not be big to others, but to me, that was a huge moment because um, it was personal and I shared diary pages. I was super honest and vulnerable with um, the people that I had invited, um, and it was dedicated to my mom, who was also in Cape Town at the time. So it was super dope. It was a very, very intimate and, um, and real session, which came together perfectly. I mean, that was definitely one of the highlights of my career so far, yeah. There are many artists that I look up to. I mean, so many cool ones, but um, if I'm gonna try to find someone specific, I think it would be um, artists like Lauren Hill, um, who has done something original and something that doesn't even need, you know, her to publish something every single week. She um, is a really, really honest and real and cool artist who had, you know, her album in the 90s, which is still being played and people still feel the way they feel when they listen to her music. And 
and additionally, I would say just the very genre in itself. She's definitely, in, like I would say, the definition of a neo soul artist, and also bringing in elements from reggae. Um, so I definitely look up to her. Um, there's also Jenny Aiko, dreamy, soulful, beautiful. Again, honest, and also this poetic style um, of sharing art is something that I really, really like. So she's also one of my favorites. And then there's Frank Ocean, um, definitely also someone who I look up to and who I'm inspired by. Um, it's just different, you know? And yeah, it's just cool to, these people have had their whole journey. If you see them early on before they blow up, it's, it's even more touching to see like how much can, sh can change, you know, in just the space of a couple of years. Um, but yeah, their journey is something that has inspired me because they've just been themselves all, all, all along and then at some point they got recognized, you know. Hey, this is Akuvi and you are watching Selective Live.